so scarcity and overpopulation. I don't think that there's anything really like overpopulation. Overpopulation would be actually that we really run out of resources, out of space, out of food. But with all the land available that we still have, with all the resources we have not really tapped into, I don't think that there's actually something like a scarce resource. It's just highly valuable and low value resources. Um, Air, for example, is a very low value resources, which is used for free on Earth and space. For example, air would be a scarce resource, but it would be also highly valuable. If you take an example, for example, jewelry it would be a scarce resource, but would be highly valued. If you have gold, it's high value and we don't run out of gold because the less gold we have, the more value it has and the more the more um, incentive is there to come up with either alternatives to gold or with improved methods to generate more gold and if it's very if gold is then so expensive that it would be useful to go into space and get gold from there then people would do that because they would be able to sell it here and people would value it so much that that will be not a problem. Now, nobody really has a problem getting jewelry if there's a limited amount of gold on the planet. You just go and have jewelry out of silver or you have jewelry out of just a certain percentage of gold. So you have then uh, gold combined with copper or other brass. Or you just have jewelry out of copper because silver is also kind of scarce not really abundant so you have jewelry out of copper out of brass or you have jewelry out of metal out of stainless steel or some people just make jewelry out of trash they use just what what goes around what they find with bicycle parts or bottle caps and make really pretty parts of jewelry out of that. So the resource itself here is scarce, but um, the use that it has is, is not, is not a chance that there will be limited scarcity for solutions for that problem that it was for. Maybe that, that was what I wanted to say. And the only scarcity that I really see in this competition is with people coming up with additional solutions for that problem, with people that have the money and the time and the ability to think free and see that there's a problem and that there's a, a way to solve it. A scarcity problem of a resource and then they can up can come up with solutions to, to fix that. For example, if um, if you look back with, I don't know, was it a Napoleon age where aluminium was very scarce and someone came up then with a solution with the new production technique and now you have tin foil in your kitchen and it's abundant. You either find a way to produce more or to um, find alternatives. So alternatives to tin foil, for example, is also that you have this uh, fresh foil, this plastic foil, you have tupper boxes and yeah. What else? I don't have to account of this. You can probably find some ideas yourself. Um, the thing is just the price goes up for, for a resource and then there come alternatives and these alternatives can also be so popular that they are better than the original so for example with a horse mm, it's a carriage right you have them a limited amount and they get expensive and so people think mm, maybe we can do something better and then invent the car build the car and then they have the car manufacturers, I don't know, like 300 in the United States or something, 
because they are manufacturers, artisans, they build each car one after another and at a high price, so it's a very high scarce good and then Ford comes along and I think someone before something the same idea, similar idea, but Ford then took this idea and turned it then into the the belt factory, the line production, and makes it super cheap. And then we have the the age of the mass production industry. This then leads to cheaper products, and then you have suddenly um, high quality products are in scarce supply so then you have okay we have so many products that get pushed out of our factory so we might maybe need some parts that that are more high quality that are more tailored to the needs of our clients of our customers and then you have companies that compete in that direction and for that you need people that have the ability to think and plan and to see that they have the ability to change the world and that are able to also when they do something like this they do this not on not out of charity but they do it hey if i help that that people to get this products i get something back i can then get money back so that's that's a good they get paid for helping other people that's capitalism they get paid for for solving problems so they look at that and if they are not able to get this money back then they have no incentive other than maybe charitable to actually fix those those problems and this is why in some countries where private property is not really guaranteed problem in yeah, Soviet countries or in socialist countries and also I don't know how the Islamic State is doing that if they have private property there and in many African countries with the cultures there they have problems because um, they have high family bonds and the family goes first so if the family it's more important for the family to have something then you lose it so you would probably are disincentivized to take in the risk and take in the investment into something like that but if you are able to keep your, your uh, rewards for investing then you actually think about okay I have like the money I have the time I have the skills so Let's, let's see if that works out. I can take this money. Hey, I have, I don't know, enough left for me to survive. And I know if it works out, then I'm good. And then I can invest in other things. I can help my family. I can build an orphanage and finally leave a mark in my, in my city. I can help out the poor people. I can finally build a hospital or a school but for this it first must be possible that he knows that he will get the money back that he then can reap the benefits and this is for the economical part but also for the for the mind part it's important that people know that we have many people that know oh i can actually change something in the world i can have an impact for those it's important that that they see they have to do the work to do the change they don't um it's not through voting or some other products where where you just give your vote and then somehow she, she, things change to the better someone always has to do some work be it creative or laborious or something and they have to be targeted and they have to put in the hours so then they need to know that okay i can not only invest my money and my creative thinking but also if i do the work if i sit down in front of the computer every day and work on it or if i stand in the workshop then i can actually create something new and this is something that people need to know and 
it might be something that yeah went away a little bit because more people are studying they are working with their heads and maybe then the the most that they invent are some kind of intellectual concepts but they are so specialized and so far away from the common people from actual problems that occur that they have no impact so they don't really see that they can change the world whereas when you have um handyman artisans or blacksmiths or carpenters they see how how their hands create something new they see okay i can build a house out of out of this wood so hmm, maybe i can build a better bigger house out of out of wood and i can build a house out of some other material or i can also build something else out of wood so but they see that there is possibility and when we have more such people that are able to think about changing the world and are able to also reap the benefits that they deserve then definitely we won't have to worry about scarce resources that we run out of anything because the more people that we that we have the more great curious creative people that are out there to help other people then we will always have enough people that solve problems so then it's just more people is, is more ability to solve problems and not more problems itself yeah and this basically that's it <laughs>